Hi. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I missed you or not, Valerie, but um, I was off on Thursday. You may or may not be out of school. I don't know. But I did want to at least touch base with you. If I could at least one more time to tell you how, how much I absolutely enjoyed working with you and reading with you. Um, and I hope you and your family are doing well. Um, I hope you have a wonderful summer. Um, I will take um, a moment to read to you one more time. This one more story. Hopefully you get a chance to hear it. Um, again, I love working with you. So you take care. You keep reading. You take care of your little sisters. Um, and um, you all work together to have fun in spite of everything that's going on right now. Um, you just enjoy the love um, of your family. All right. So the story that <clears throat> I'm reading for you, I just picked out of the blue. I thought you might like it. Um, this is one of the last levels here. It's called Treasure Hunt. Um, and it's always by Ann Hearth. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll go ahead and get started. Sophie rolled over. Something crinkled under her cheek. There was a note on her pillow. She sat up and read it aloud. Uncle Dave is often away. He wishes he could stay and play. Re read the poem. Uh, read the poems and follow the clues. You'll find a surprise. Now that's good news. Sophie grinned and jumped out of bed. Uncle Dave sent a wonderful sent wonderful surprises. Once he'd sent drums from Africa. Another time he'd sent boomerangs from Australia. Wow. There was another clue on her bedroom door. She read it. <clears throat> You must be hungry. It's time to eat. Go to the kitchen and have a seat. Sophie raced to the kitchen. A bowl of cereal sat on the table. Another note leaned against a glass of juice. Sophie poured her milk and picked up her spoon. She read the note. After you eat, put your dishes away, brush your teeth, and start the day. Sophie ate her cereal and drank her juice. What could be, sir? What could her surprise be? Chopsticks from China. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> My son's in China right now. Actually, that's that's very special. So anyway, she ran to the bathroom. A clue was stuck to the mirror. Sophie quickly brushed her teeth. She read the note. Now your teeth are clean. Wash your face with soap. And you know you're supposed to be washing your hands lots of times. 20 seconds, right? So anyway, wash your face with soap. Look under the car and you will find a rope. Sophie washed her face. What was her present? A woolly hat from New Zealand? She raced downstairs. The car was in the driveway. Sophie spotted the end of a rope. She pulled it. It flew out from under the car. A note was pinned to the other end. Sophie read it. A secret code will open the door. Knock three times. Then knock four. Sophie ran to the front door. What was her surprise? A kimono from Japan. Wooden shoes from the Netherlands? 
She knocked three times. Then she waited. She knocked four more times. The door opened slowly. Sophie held her breath. Mom, she said, the door opened wide. Surprise, Uncle Dave said. He lifted Sophie and swung her around. Sophie squeezed her favorite uncle. You're the best surprise ever. <laughs> what is the story mostly about? Now name one gift Uncle Dave had previously sent Sophie. So let's see. I think I could click next, right? No. How many times did Sophie knock on the door? Do you remember? Well, anyway, the main purpose of this reading session is just to know that you know what an awesome job you did reading to me this year, how much you've progressed, and how I can see that you enjoy reading. So now you have the whole summer and maybe a little more time than you would normally like to go ahead and continue reading. So just find some great stories. There should be some online maybe that you can check out from the library um, and different options so that you can continue to read. Read to your sisters, read to yourself, read to whoever will listen and enjoy what you're reading. And the more you read, the easier, as you know, it becomes the more you can learn um, and the learn more you can express yourself. So um, again, Valerie, um, have an awesome summer. All right. Bye.